Oh, say that one more time. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think that was good. All right. Say that one more time. So awareness implies that you are aware of something. Okay. But um, uh, your awareness is prior to what you are aware of. So awareness is something that is untouched but by what you're aware of. So you could be aware of anything at all. You could be in some different planet. You could have a completely different set of feelings or thoughts. Uh, or maybe there are creations that we couldn't even explain because we're just coming from the human point of view. Uh, uh, you couldn't... You could, you can be aware of anything at all, yet your awareness is untouched by what you're aware of, because awareness is solely the acknowledgement of existence, but it is not entangled with existence itself. Okay, so basically, <laughs> what I'm basically. trying to say is, if that is what defines awareness, then what is, why can't there exist a collective awareness? Because first of all, you think about individual awareness, which is you are being aware of change oh. around you, right? right? Okay, you're around. You're, you understand that there's there are changes going around yourself, right? Right. Yes. And then why can't it be a collective thing? Because but, as far as I understand, you, can you share in the your physical, awareness with anyone else? Yes, you can share into a collective level. What I'm trying to say no, is share, that share share your awareness with me right now, if you can. So, if you no, let you, me you let cannot, me explain. You let me explain share collective your awareness. awareness with me. I, let me explain. You can share your consciousness, maybe. Well, okay. But not your awareness. So how do you define? How do you draw the line between consciousness and awareness? I if would you, say consciousness. If you are conscious of change, are you aware of change, or are you not aware of change? Can you be unaware Wait, say of? Again. So if can you be? If you if, can you be conscious of change but not aware of change? If they're different, right, well, then it should no, be yes. That may, okay, so in my head, consciousness and awareness are separate things. They're not the same thing. So, but, but your question makes me feel like you're basically stating that conscious... You're saying, can you be conscious of change? But I'm, what I'm saying is that consciousness is change. That whatever is manifest, whatever is happening in the world, is consciousness itself. And awareness is something prior to consciousness. So it's all, it's almost like Eckhart Tolle gives this example for example for example example <laughs> you you when you when you're out uh, in a clear night and you look up at the sky okay you see a bunch of objects you see the stars you see the earth right you see all of these objects floating in space mm -hmm. right if there were no objects then there would be nothing for you to be aware of. The space would still be there, in a sense, if you could But say you just said awareness it, comes before consciousness. Yes, well, I'm getting there. Give me a moment. Okay. So I'm saying that awareness is like space, whereas consciousness is existence. It's Consciousness is the thing, or are the things that appears in awareness mm -hmm. whereas awareness is only the space in which all of these things are are appearing okay well what i'm trying to say is collective awareness as i see it is this basic set of rules or okay now this basic set of changes not even changes this basic set of responses responses to certain stimuli yes in the very basic level all species are aware of their environment regardless if you are a colony of bacteria regardless if you're a flock of sheep if you are a flock of birds you will always respond collectively to a change in your environment as for example migration is a very big but that's collective example. consciousness that's, that's not collective consciousness not collective it awareness. comes before awareness the fact no, that the birds no, no 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 okay okay oh, hear, no, me no, out. hear me out oh come on okay then pull all that Go on. okay and hear me <laughs> out what i'm trying to say is like before the birds even start to move they yes. are aware of the fact that they need to move because of change in weather. How can you aware, separate okay, that I'll, between you're consciousness using aware and aware in a very mundane way, I think. Okay, for example, okay, let me They they Okay, they Even even given that, okay, maybe I'm using it in a very mundane way. They're programmed 
Okay, if you take a certain species, there will be common responses to certain stimuli. Yes. That is encoded in their DNA, okay. or in their bodies, or in their nurturing, whatever, okay. whatever it might be, right? Yes, okay, Nature, on. nurture, whatever. Alright, go, we got it, Shut man. up. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm saying that uh, the stimuli and the response are both observed by awareness. That the stimuli and the respon the responses are in consciousness, they exist in some form, mm -hmm. and there is something that is aware of it. And I think that thing that, that is aware of everything is what a lot of good people have been trying to point towards. <laughs> I'm not Does going to say anything well? more than that. <laughs> And you shouldn't either. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> our dear audience, major shout out to you for following us so far. We have actually exceeded 50 views on both of our videos. And your continued support will keep us going on on these excellent conversations with you and ourselves. And uh, as human beings, as sentient human beings, or sentient species of, like members of, sentient members of a very dumb species of this world, we expect you to reply to us with what you think consciousness and awareness is all about. So this is good night for tonight, and uh, we hope to catch you soon later. Thank you. Peace out. Huh? What? Yeah, peace out. <laughs> <laughs>